thank you, Tammy Nall, for joining us regarding the real estate aspect of credit improvement. Thank you. And Mr. Phil Arnold for chiming in and trying to help us understand a little bit about automotive financing and some of the pitfalls and the pains that people may endure when trying to acquire property. My first question is for you, Ms. Tammy Nall. When a person comes in to purchase a home as a realtor, if they do not qualify, what are some of the things you may recommend to assist them? Well, I definitely recommend them um, going to our credit coaching system and um, having them to pull their credit with the annual credit report. Um, and then becoming a part of the member of the credit coaching system team. That'll get them on the road called straight, let them see exactly what the problems are with the credit. You know, sometimes they don't, they're never even told why they were denied. Um, so looking at the credit themselves, um, and then also, it also gives me an opportunity to stay in contact with them. You know, I know I can't sell them a house this month, but that doesn't mean in six months or 12 months down the road that I won't be able to sell them a house. And the credit coaching system allows them to get emails from me, um, letters from me. In the meantime, it gives them an opportunity to work on their credit. And I get to see the advancement of what they're doing, and we communicate through the entire process. So they never forget, yes, I had to deny them for a home or they didn't qualify at that time, but I've not left their side. I'm still with them, and I'm going to be with them through the whole process until it's time to buy that first home. Mr. Arnold, as you know that the only means of getting back and forth to work in today's society is automotive. Mm -hmm. Have you experienced any scenarios where families have been rejected the opportunity to purchase a car or a vehicle and how so? What was the impact? In the automotive industry, I'm seeing many, many excellent rates out there right now for new car buyers. You see zero rates, you see 1.9, 1.5. It's outstanding right now in terms of the rates for, for purchasing automobiles. The unfortunate thing is those people with bad credit are paying absorbent rates. So a lot of people come in with the great excitement of purchasing that new car, that first car, and sometimes the entire family leaves totally dejected because when the finance manager is through with them, they see they cannot afford the actual monthly payment. So uh, credit becomes highly critical with regard to these particular interest rates. Now the salesmen are equally excited uh, when they get leads and referrals. The salesman in today's automotive world, he lives and dies by the leads and referrals. The exciting part about the credit coaching system is that using that system, the salesperson can stay in contact with that lead. Even though the lead doesn't qualify today, they can be out there restructuring, rebuilding, uh, becoming credit worthy. And when they do, they still have an ongoing relationship because of because of the credit buying, the, mm -hmm. the credit business uh, is, uh, is, is, is ever changing, the, the target's ever changing. So the, in, the, in today's world, the uh, credit coaching system allows him to stay in constant contact, so therefore, therefore he can recontact the person on an ongoing basis, and even though they can't buy today, they may be able to buy down the road. Well, thank you. It's not mm -hmm. in conjunction with purchasing a home. There are a number of people in America today that are relegated to having to rent property yes. now. How did that play out in your industry? Well, um, if they're not in an opportunity to, to purchase at this time, then they have to rent. But at the same time, um, credit is not only impacting purchases, it's impacting where you live, where you can get a job at. So it's not just whether you can get a car or you can get a house, it's impacting what kind of job you can get. And also if you can even qualify to live in an apartment community or um, rent from an individual um, owner. So when I have clients that come in and they want to you know, rent a house and they don't qualify um, you know, to purchase a home, then we can go ahead and pull their credit at that time and I let them know while they're going through this process, let's go ahead and join hands with the credit coaching system. Get in there and let's get this, get this straight. Um, so when it comes time, for you to move into a house or even to move into another community, you won't hear the rejection of the words, no, you don't qualify. Because um, there are a lot of things that they can do. The credit coaching system has letters in there that they can send to their creditors and they can send to the credit companies to start this process. The longer you wait, the longer you have to wait to move forward. Thank you. Mr. Arnold, you've been in the business community for a number of years. You have a varied of different experiences. For a young startup business entrepreneur, what are some of the 
tips you would leave with them in this today's current society that they should do in order to really establish whatever the business may be? Well, today's businesses are spending an inordinate amount of money on advertising because they're trying to get all those customers through the door. In today's economic times, it's getting more and more competitive out there for each and every customer. So any advantage that that person can get or that company can, can have over the other company, uh, they're going to go after it. And the, the credit coaching system is one of those ex exact advantages. Uh, you spend a lot of money to get the customer in the door, and then when you go to, to sell the big ticket items, many, many times the credit is so bad they just can't purchase it. The credit coaching system allows us to enter, to enter the notion of never turning away a lead indefinitely. You always have the ability to stay on top of that situation whereby if they can't buy today, they make them buy six months from now, they make them buy a year from now, but you have constant contact through the credit coaching system with your client. Uh, that's uh, an invaluable tool, whether you're a small business or a large business, to maintaining that lead, if you will, and keeping it a hot lead so that when they are in a position to buy, They've gone out, restored their credit, they've become credit worthy. When they come through the door, they know exactly who they want to deal with at that point. So it's more like future earnings through today's relationship without actually saying no. It's more the possibility by taking controlled steps in a controlled environment, we eventually can do business, is what you're telling me? Exactly, and in, in the sales world, you've heard it said so many times that people buy from those people that they trust. Mm -hmm. When you use the buyer's credit coaching system, you're providing your client with something of value. They remember where they got that advice. They remember where they got that direction for repairing their credit, for becoming credit worthy again. Just the mere fact that you're providing them with something that is of value to them, it's something that they can help put their life back together in becoming credit worthy again, they're never going to forget who put them on that road to better credit and they're going to come back to that particular merchant because they see the vested interest in them personally. Thank you. Yes. It's Realtors is a huge industry. Yes. With thousands of members. Do you believe if real estate practitioners had a system like the credit coaching system mm -hmm. It could help them close more loans and make more money? Absolutely. And if so, how so? Absolutely. Um, Kevin, off of what um, Phil Arnold said, it's true. You build that relationship with them. Um, I mean, so many times you walk in or someone will walk in and, and they've been denied credit. And it, it is heart-wrenching. And they walk away with their head down. And it takes them months, maybe even years, to step back out again. But instead of just telling them no, don't say no. Just say, not right now. We can't do this, but here are some steps that you can do to take you to the to the home that you want to buy, the car you want to buy, or whatever it may be. Um, and during that process, it's true what he said. People are not going to forget those people that took that time to help them get on the right track. They would have done it before they came in, but they didn't know how to do it. They're hoping that you see how long they've been on their jobs or how long they lived in their home and that that will be sufficient enough. But as we all know in the credit world, it takes more than just that now. So handing them and getting them to sign up for Buyer's Credit Coach is, is the, the best thing you can do for your client. And then you're going to stay, stay in contact with them. When it's time for them to buy that home, they're not going to go to somebody else down the street. They're going to come back to you. So the realtors that are out there, they need, you know, they need to remember that we've already built a relationship with them. By the time they go to the lenders and they've been approved, you've already shown them a couple houses, you've already met the kids, you've already met the dog, you know, a little bit about the family. How do you just say no and walk away from that? Because it's a small world, you will see them again. I would rather take the time to say, listen, it might not be right now, but we're going to still get you on that, get you on the right path. I'm not going to let go of you. You don't let go of me, I'm not going to let go of you. Let's get in this buyer's credit coaching system and we'll do this together. And if realtors will do that, they will see their numbers increase. They will see the talk in the town increase about that company because you're not just saying no. We're looking at the long term of the community, not just the instant financial gratification. Mr. Arnold, in closing, if you can leave a young entrepreneur or a seasoned veteran entrepreneur one thing that you've learned over all your years of experience to help them get to a point of profitability, 
what would that tip be? I think every business out there is interested in doing business with customers that are going to continue to make their payments. Everyone talks about write-offs, everybody talks about bad debt. Businesses of today are interested in making sales and having profits, but the only way to get those profits is making sure that the goods that go out the door with all the payment plans and all these kinds of things, that they are in fact going to get their money for their products eventually. With the credit coaching system and so on and so forth, uh, those people that are not capable of making their payments today or making their purchase today can rebuild their situation, reestablish their credit, become credit, credit worthy, and they will now fall into that same category that the businesses like to see, paying customers. So I would tell all business owners that as you're screening down through all these customers and you're denying credit and others you're approving credit, to always remember that those that you're denying, they may not be uh, good customers today, but through systems like the credit system that we're talking about here, the credit can become good credit, and when that happens, you want that customer for, for a customer at that point. And Ms. Noll, mm -hmm. a similar question to you with a little twist. Mortgage rates are low, the market is slowly beginning to turn, the price of homes are relatively reasonable now. Mm -hmm. What would you say to that purchaser that got their, home, their eye on that home and just not there yet? What would you say to encourage them to keep them to see the prize at the end? I would tell them that <clears throat> your day's coming. I mean, your, your day is, is going to come. Um, at, if, at this time, there are some things that, that you do need to do. Um, but houses aren't going anywhere. Market's not going anywhere. We're going to improve. The, the, real, estate, the real estate industry is improving. Um, houses are, are, are beginning um, to hold their value again. Uh, we have uh, builders that are building again. And then we have homes that um, have been foreclosed that are, are affordable for, for people who, who want a more affordable house. So don't think that today is your last day. Do what you need to do to where you can get into this into this um, system and go ahead and start making your dreams come true with a with a, you know affordable housing for you and your family. Oh.